All right, welcome to the fourth episode of Fight Picks. We have the new UFC fighter, Josh Parisian, on this week. Soon to be reigning champion of this show. Hell yeah. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, that ain't going to happen. You're like, hell yeah. <laughs> I was thinking you are talking about the UFC over here. All right, That's so... True. Josh will go over the game rules first, and then I will go over the fight picks, and then we will go over what uh, our predictions are and how much we bet, and then we'll call out the next person we challenge on here. So, Josh, go ahead. All right. Game rules. Number one, we have $1,000 to bet. Number two, bets must be in before show. Uh, as you see, they're all ready. Must be at least $100 in each fight. The largest profit wins. And winner becomes host and issues challenge. All right. So for the fights, the first fight of the night on the main card, we've got Magnomed Ankalov versus uh, Ian Kutlaba. I hope I'm saying that right. Probably not. But the second fight of the night, we've got Ricardo Lamas versus Bill Algiro. Al Algiro? I don't know. Uh, the third fight... Uh, on the main card is going to be Alexa Gr Grasso versus Ji Young Kim. The co-main event is going to be Robbie Lawler versus Neil Magny. And then we got for the main event, we have Anthony Smith versus Alexander Rakic. So um, I will go with my first pick of the night, which we're going to start from the bottom. Um, this fight is actually a rematch. They had a very weird stoppage the first time they fought. Um, so we didn't really get to see what, how the fight would play out. Um, but Magnamed, I think he, he's kind of got his number on this one. I think, I think he'll be able to pull it off again. So I went with him and I bet $100. First off, I like to say that these are very one-sided betting odds. Yeah, they are. None of them are very even. But because I'm looking to win and I'm looking to take the underdog, boom. Wow. Is, is it Ian? I don't know how to pronounce it. Ian or Ion? $150. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn. So we're starting off with a different pick. Okay. Um, for the next fight of the night, we got Ricardo Lamas versus that Bill guy. Um I don't know much about Bill. I do know it's his going to be his first UFC fight, um, and I feel like that's just a super tough matchup for him. Ricardo Lamas has been around forever. He's fought uh, Aldo. He's fought a bunch of super tough dudes, which, sure, he's starting to get towards the end of his career, but with that experience and his style, I had to go with him, and I actually bet $350 on Ricardo Lamas. Wow. Felt like it was more of a sure thing on that. I don't know, Bill, but I think it's Bill's time. Wow. But I'm not super confident. So $100. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. That's crazy. <laughs> Fuck, two different picks already. This is going to be interesting. All right, so for the third fight, we've got Alexa Grasso versus Jeon Kim. Um, I really don't know anything about Jeon Kim. Um, but I've watched a lot of Alexa Grasso. She's a very good striker. She's fought some very good wrestlers who uh, both beat her. Um, but I feel like she's getting good experience. Um, I feel like they, they're going to want her to win this fight. She's got a big name in Mexico. She's tough. So I, I actually picked Alexa Grasso, and I am betting $250 on her. Seems like you're always picking the favorites, huh? Yep, for this card. Not me. I got G, $100. <laughs> oh, my God. Every fight is different <laughs> so far. Do you have a reason why you picked these people so far? or uh, I went with the underdogs because James gave me a little advice before he came in here, and he was like, listen, you need to bet the money on the ones that are uh, – because because you're not going to make much money. If you guys wins, this you're not going to make a lot. But if I if my person wins at the betting odds, we're going to make a ton on $100. But I, other than that, I don't even know these people. Damn. <laughs> See, that's the thing that sucks about this card. Because the odds are so skewed, it's like, yes, the favorite's supposed to win. But you could literally... If you win two of the favorites, but I win one of the one that's huge the underdog, underdog... You win. I, I win. know. I'm f that's what sucks about this. Because... 
there's always on on these cards. There's always one time where the underdog wins. We, we there might be four out of the five where the favorites win, but I guarantee there will be one underdog that wins on this card. And then I will claim my throne. Yeah, oh, I really hope not. So remove the usurper, <laughs> Brian. The co-main event we got Robbie Lawler and Neil Magny. Okay, so this fight is another one that's very interesting because I mean Robbie's been around forever. He's fought the toughest dudes. He's super tough. Got great takedown defense. Good striking. Um, a good chin. He's pretty well rounded. He has lost a lot lately. Um, but they've been to the top guys in the division. Neil Magny, he does have very good wrestling. He's he's well rounded. Um, I could definitely see Neil taking this, but because Robbie's got such good takedown defense and he's very powerful, uh, I decided to go with the underdog and go with Robbie on this one, and I am betting a hundred dollars. You know what's funny? I went with Neil Magny. What? I know it's not. He's not an underdog, but honestly, I think that uh, he's just so sound. His his fundamentals are so. Uh, I don't know. He's just so sharp and more well rounded. I feel like I think that he's gonna. How do you see him winning? I think it'll be a decision. Honestly, decision win. Yeah, yeah I was thinking Robbie decision. Yeah, that will be interesting. Okay, <laughs> let's see if we got this. One. <laughs> All right, so Anthony Smith versus Alexander Rakic. Um. Anthony's another one of those guys who's super experienced. He's fought all the toughest dudes in the division. Alexander's kind of one of those up-and-comers who's got a couple highlight finishes. He's been doing really good in the division. Um, Man, it's a tough call for this one for me. I kind of went back and forth on this one too. Um, I wanted to go with Anthony too because he trains with Cody, but – Man, I had to go with Alexander. I felt like he's just a little bit faster, a little uh, sharper. Well, I guess I wouldn't even say more technical. He's just explosive and fast, and I feel like he might be able to catch Anthony in this fight, unfortunately. So I went with him, and I bet $200. Hmm. Uh, Well, as long as Alexander isn't as strong as that meth head that broke in Anthony's house. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god did you hear that story yeah i heard that <laughs> uh i went anthony smith 350 dollars. so we literally every pick was different wow you're gonna make a shitload of money if anthony wins too yeah fuck this is tough i mean he's powerful i mean he is very good, good but really good jujitsu good striking good takedowns good takedown defense uh that's why i was kind of up in the air about that one Plus, but. it's a, a higher weight class too, so the chance of a of a finish of an upset is, mm-hmm. I think, is more substantial than some of these lighter fighters. So mm-hmm. it made more sense for me to bet more money on him. I guess, especially like in a five round fight, Anthony's done that a couple times now, and I don't think this other guy's ever been five rounds. Oh, that you're I second know guessing of. yourself, huh? I know, I am. <laughs> because you picked the exact opposite on all of them, I'm like. Dude, if one or two of your people win, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna really make shit because most of mine I pick the favorites, except Robbie, which I'll make double, but I mean literally all of yours, if one of them wins, you beat me, I think. So what now we we have to call out the person who we want to Yes. Uh, so oh. let's say if if you win who do you want to go against next? Hmm. I'm going to – has Taylor Moore been on here yet? Yeah. Uh, I already beat Taylor. Danny's been on here? Danny has not been on here. He was supposed to, but uh-huh. he bailed both times on me. So Danny said, B. Danny, Danny B. Danny B. Barry. going with. Yeah. All right. Hmm. If I win this one this week, um, you know what? I think I'm going to pick Jackson Barlow. He's been commenting each time we post a video about it, how he wants to be on here. Um, I'm going to go with Jackson Barlow next week if I win. Nice. That's awesome. All right. Well, it sucks that it's going to be another week where he's not going to be on because I'm going to win. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but I tell you what, I'll call him on next time. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you All got right. anything else? No. Is that it? Yep. That is it. All right. Let's wrap it up.